Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Senate confirms Daniel Werfel as head of the IRS. The IRS has a new appointee. On Thursday, March 9, 2023, the Senate voted to confirm Daniel Werfel as head of the IRS. The confirmation vote was 54-42 with four senators not voting, including Dianne Feinstein, John Fetterman and Mitch McConnell, who were unavailable due to medical reasons only one Democrat voted against Werfel Joe Manchin, Senator Manchin explained his vote on Twitter, noting, Although Daniel Werfel is superbly qualified to serve as IRS commissioner, I have no confidence that he will be given the autonomy to carry out the work in accordance with the law, and for that reason, I cannot support his nomination. The tweet also contained Manchin's displeasure at his perception that the Treasury Department had given in to automakers and progressive extremist groups, which is intended, among other things, as a reference to electric vehicle credits in the Inflation Reduction Act. Six Republicans switched to support worthless nomination. Cassidy, Collins Grassley, Murkowski, Tillis and Young. All three Senate independents supported the nomination. Werfel appeared before the Senate Finance Committee for his confirmation hearing on February 15, 2023, where he discussed the funding of the IRS, the tax gap, and the direction of Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen was grilled that the IRS would not increase audit rates for small businesses and households earning less than $400,000. Werfel previously served as interim IRS commissioner for several months in 2013, after Stephen T. Miller resigned under pressure during the Lois Lerner scandal, he began his civil service career at the Office of Management and Budget, where he served under nine directors from both political parties. He graduated from Cornell University before earning his law degree from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He also has a Master's of Public Policy from Duke University. The last commissioner, Charles Reddick, resigned on November 12, 2022, at the end of his term of office, which, 